here we've got a medial view of a right upper limb model. And what's good about the arteries on this, they're nice and bright red, so pretty easy to spot. Now remember with this model, we're not going to see a subclavian artery. The subclavian artery is only short. It ends at the lateral border of the first rib. So on this model, all of this is axillary artery. And remember, it ends at the inferior border of teres major, which we can see here. So every, anything after that will be brachial. But on this model, we don't get a really good look at the brachial artery until much more distally on the model here. So if we just move distally down the limb a bit, and instead of zooming out, we zoom in, we'll see that here on brachialis, we can find the brachial artery. Now, of course, on a specimen, you'll be able to move the nerves and muscles out of the way and follow the artery, brachial artery, all the way along here. So this is brachial artery here, and we can see that just distal to the elbow joint, but only just, it splits into ulna and radial arteries. The radial artery, of course, being on the thumb or lateral side, and the ulna artery travelling on the medial or little finger side. Now, both of those travel all the way down the forearm. And then in the hand, they give rise to the superficial palmar arch, which we can see here. Now, the arch, the superficial palmar arch is mainly fed by the ulnar artery, but the radial artery does usually send a branch to it as well. So this is the superficial palmar arch, and please note that it's sitting superficial to these long flexor tendons and the lumbricals that are in between them. So if you can see long flexor tendons and you're looking at an arch here in the hand, it's the superficial palmar arch. If you're looking at a hand where you can't see those structures, where they've been removed, like this one here, so here we don't have long flexor tendons, they've been taken away and the lumbricals are missing as well. So this must be the deep palmar arch. Now it's a bit more proximal than the superficial and it's usually quite a bit smaller. So let's just put the superficial one back so you can see what I mean. Here you can clearly see the ulnar artery leading straight into that superficial palmar arch. You can see the long flexor tendons and the lumbricals there. So you know you're looking at the superficial one. If those structures are removed, here's the deep one. It's more proximal and smaller.